Welcome to Safety 2017 TV. I'm your host, Rachel Bays. Over the next few days, we'll be sharing with you the people, sessions, and events here at the conference. Let's start with an overview of the Safety 2017 conference and exposition. Safety 2017 is an industry-defining event for safety professionals. There are over 240 educational sessions put on by the best minds in the industry in over 20 different subject areas. Safety pros come here to learn new ways to solve their biggest challenges. The conference has been providing introductory, intermediate, and advanced level training for over 50 years. This year is the largest conference yet, with over 5,000 safety professionals in attendance and over 650 companies exhibiting their latest innovations and technology. My name is Rick Pollock. I'm the president of CLMI Safety Training. I've been involved with ASSC for many years, so maybe many of you have seen me here at the conferences. I really hope that, uh, that people will take the time to come to my session. I named the session Human Error, There Is No Root Cause, because I want to try to point out to people that there are multiple causal factors when people get injured or when problems occur, and that there are systems and organizational influences. It's all too easy to see what the person did wrong, or the rule they violated, or, or things like that. But it's much more difficult to dig deeper and understand how an organization may have influenced a behavior or a specific action that's taken. There are many takeaways from the session that I'd like to you know, really get across to people. And the biggest one is that human error happens all the time. And in safety, we need to recognize that fact. And rather than try to change a person's behavior and how they'll react to the workplace, design the work so it accepts error when it happens, so when people do do, do something wrong, they don't get hurt. Or if, they, if something happens, the consequence of what happens is lessened by the design of the work itself. That's one of it. The other is um, understanding that in most organizations, how we react to error really matters. We want to learn when something goes wrong, and if we react very negatively to an individual or the groups involved, then they're less likely to share with us their knowledge of what happened or what led up to it or different organizational pressures that might be going on. And so at the end of the day, I hope that the people that walk away will have a, a little bit more insight into how they may be able to improve their investigation process within their company. You want to grow beyond your view of how injuries occur and how incidents occur and begin to see a broader picture of what's going on. So I want to try and help everybody learn and grow and I uh, really am glad to see everybody here. It's a record year in Denver and great weather and I hope everybody has a wonderful time. Hi, I'm Alexi Carley. I'm the Vice President of Global Health and Safety at UPS. Well, the ASSC Foundation is the charitable arm of the American Society of Safety Engineers. Um, and through the ASSC Foundation, we are able to advance the profession through research, grants, as well as provide scholarships and attract all of these great young minds into the profession. The golf outing supports the Safety Matters Fund. And the Safety Matters Fund is very important to the foundation because it's really our, our method of startup capital, it helps to fill in gaps in different programs. The ASSC Foundation this year had a record-breaking year of scholarships and grants of over 120 to the amount of $303,000. That's pretty awesome. We're also halfway into the research program, uh, which is a fatigue study, using things kind of like Fitbit and wearables. Fatigue is something that we all as safety professionals have to deal with on the job. It doesn't matter what kind of industry that you're dealing with. This change takes a lot of development, takes research, uh, and this is really where the foundation can have a lot of impact. It takes all of us working together in order to advance the profession uh, and take it to where business needs us for the future. My name is Paul Colangelo and I serve as the National Director of Compliance for Click Safety. Click Safety is an online training company founded in 1999. Uh, we specialize in OSHA 10 and 30 hour online programs and we also have about 300 safety and health courses in the areas of general industry, construction and mining. 
We're not just a company that offers uh, training programs to the industry. Uh, all our programs are developed by our in-house staff of subject matter experts. Uh, it's always beneficial to have our folks engage with the industry safety and health professionals uh, and no better place than uh, the Professional Development Conference to do that. In terms of today's safety director or manager, um, what they had available to them way back when versus the technology that's available now, just a lot of great mediums coming out on how they can actually go ahead and train their workforce. Aside from the actual online learning element of our courses, one of our new products that we have launched uh, this year is our knowledge assessment program. This is uh, micro learning and it's learning after the initial training is finished. So a safety director could implement uh, a certain training course to his employees and then after the fact, three month, six month, nine month intervals, uh, it's totally up to them. Uh, the student gets hit with a question a day, comes right into their mobile device, and it's just basically meant to refresh that training that they had received originally. Keeps the knowledge fresh, uh, keeps the learner engaged, and it uh, also allows the employer to measure that learning retention from the original training program. My session is 585 and I will be discussing the new walking and working surfaces rule uh, from OSHA and we're just going to go over a lot of the uh, topics of interest. There's a lot of new information in the rule uh, just so people that aren't familiar it is um, targeted at the general industry but there's a lot of good construction material that's uh, relatable. Some of the takeaways from the session, the learning objectives, if you will, we're going to be focusing on mostly the new fall protection requirements uh, for general industry. Uh, a lot of the flexibility that employers are going to have now, a lot of new rules about ladders, uh, training, authorized persons, competent persons. So as far as employers go, uh, a lot of pertinent info. And uh, the, all, the other interesting thing is the players that are involved, building owners, facilities managers. So the audience, a uh, very diverse audience for this topic. Subpart D just came out in 2016, and a lot of this is saturated over to 2017. So this information is kind of new and fresh, and a lot of people that are trying to get their arms around the new rule, uh, it's just invaluable. My name is Harold Gubnitsky, President and Chief Strategy Officer for Process Map Corporation. Process Map is constantly innovating in areas of health and safety for our customers, employees, and their customers. Areas that we focus on over the last few years, one is data intelligence and bringing the data and the information to allow our customers to be proactive and in preventing incidents in the workplace. Two is the ability to bring mobile technology to our customers and allow them to have access to this information that they need to protect their organizations anywhere in the world. In addition to that, Process Map has been able to uniquely identify and correlate safety, which is all important, with the financial considerations associated with incidents in the workplace, whether that be work-related, general liability, vehicle, property and environmental. So bringing the safety culture and the financial aspects together in one platform is what we find our customers really appreciate. We're very excited to be here at ASSE. We'd love for you to stop on by booth 913, meet with our team, and let us show you how we can partner with you to create that safety culture for you and your organization.